was the 2020 Trump team plan spelled out in the open just weeks before the January 6th insurrection. As we speak today, an alternate slate of electors in the contested states is going to vote and we're going to send those results up to Congress. But that failed plan to find alternate electors and challenge certifying Biden's win could have a better shot at working in 2024. Reporting to appoint and ascertain electors. That's the warning from retired conservative judge J. Michael Ludick, who famously advised former Vice President Pence to ignore Trump's overtures, follow the Constitution, and faithfully count the Electoral College votes as they have been cast. Now he's once again trying to ensure it doesn't happen. The former president has been telling this to the world for a year and a half, and most recently, the legislatures in the states you know, that they're populating themselves with, with Trump supporters in order that they can exploit the Electoral Count Act. Ludig warned there's a blueprint for how he says members of his own party plan to execute successfully in 2024, the very same plan they failed in executing in 2020, and to overturn the 2024 election if Trump or his anointed successor loses again. The GOP could have more favorable state governments. The majority of state legislatures are Republican. The key battleground states of Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, North Carolina, and Arizona all have Republican legislatures. If they're able to put forward alternate slates of electors that they can actually get state um, officials to sign off on, that might give them more credibility, um, certainly um, they might have a little more success there, either in Arizona or other states. In addition, the now conservative supermajority Supreme Court could support an obscure and not widely accepted legal theory where state legislatures have supreme power over elections without checks and balances. That theory stems from Article 1, Section 4 of the Constitution, which says, the times, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed by the legislature there of. Those that are promoting the independent legislature doctrine are suggesting that that means just the legislature. It's a strict reading. It just says legislature. It means just the legislature. What they're failing to recognize is that every state has a constitution that defines what its legislature does and does not make the legislature predominant over other aspects of government, including the executive and the judiciary. Supreme Court observers believe some justices hinted they'd accept that theory in response to challenges to the 2020 election. At the same time, state legislatures across the country are passing laws to overhaul the election process. According to the left-leaning Brennan Center for Justice, 19 states passed new restrictive voting laws last year alone, like Florida restricting ballot boxes and Iowa proposing strict punishments for election workers who make errors. And over 250 more bills are being considered as of mid-January. We're getting legislation that is basically making nonpartisan election offices, they're being politicized. And that is making it harder for us to do our jobs. Many conservatives say the bills are not about voter suppression, but rather just reflect policy differences between the parties, and in some cases, make voting easier. They're essentially policy choices as to how many ballot boxes you're going to allow. I think the whole concern that there is a, a fundamental restrictions on the franchise are are silly. In Texas, new election rules passed in 2021 limit voting hours and makes it harder to vote by mail. The Texas Secretary of State says more than 24,000 voters had their ballots rejected in the March primary, a big jump over previous elections. Republican Texas lawmaker Travis Clardy talked to CNN just before the bill passed last year. It's been 10 years since we've done a kind of an overhaul of our election laws, uh, and I think it, it, it was very much time to do this. At the same time, many pro-Trump Republican candidates are top contenders to take control of election oversight as Secretary of State. And they're all running on the same campaign message, the lie that the 2020 election was stolen. We know it, and they know it. Donald Trump won. Arizona's ballot-by-mail system works. Democrat Katie Hobbs is Arizona's Secretary of State and is now running for governor. She worries what will happen in future elections. It is so concerning to see the number of election deniers 
uh, running for not just secretaries of state across the country, but uh, attorneys general, governors, and even down to state legis legislatures. Uh, it is not an accident. Uh, we know part of why democracy prevailed in 2020 is that there is checks and balances on the system.